an update, Liz and Dave. Wonderful news. Thank you very much. Thank you. Many Republicans, though, are still not very pleased with the direction of this health care reform push. Representative Trent Franks of Arizona joins us now with his take. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you, David. How are you? Fine, thanks. Now, I remember 16 years ago, Bill Clinton holding up his pen. I should get mine out. He's holding up and saying, with this pen, I will veto any bill that crosses my desk that does not cover every single American with health care. We didn't hear exactly that kind of, of stridency last night with President Obama. Well, we, we came pretty close. He said he would not sign any bill that added one penny to the deficit or in, in well, what's wrong basically with that? those terms. Well, that'd be great if, he had, if, if there was any thought that he meant it. But the, the, the idea that you can take over one-sixth of the economy and create this massive new program and, and not have uh, it cost anything of, of consequence is, is just completely unrealistic. If somehow government involvement in health care saves us money, it will be a first in history because it certainly never happened before. Uh, Representative, um, who knows, maybe that could be done. It, it is very hard to imagine, but we just had Representative Altmaier, who was a blue dog, fiscally conservative, saying that if those cuts are promised, so that if you want to spend at other areas you must cut, that it could be done. You don't believe that well, at one all? Of the, one, of the one, of, one of the suggestions he made, uh, I don't believe that that will actually happen, no. But one of the suggestions he made is that we would make this up by savings in the Medicare and Medicaid programs. Well, those are government programs, and if there's that much waste in them, uh, how would we not expect there to be uh, no waste in the new program? I mean, it's just, it's just fundamentally at odds uh, on a very basic level. And, uh, you know, last night the, the president uh, intensified his, uh, his, his sales pitch, but he really just repackaged it. And it tells me that uh, even though he's made around 30 speeches on this, that he's not listening to the American people. The American people have suggested in very strong terms that they want to go in a different direction. And uh, he just seems more committed than ever to go in this direction of putting government's hands all over our health care. Well, we've been debating this point, but do you think that he, uh, he moved any closer to endorsing the public option or perhaps moved a little bit away from it last night? Was there any movement at all on that front? Well, I think that, you know, he made it clear that he wants a, a, a government to... Uh, uh, option, but the the reality is he's trying to keep his options open as much as possible. And he had a tough sell last night. I give him credit for that. He he had a very difficult situation because the more people understand about government coming in and dictating their health care or even their insurance options, the less they like it. So it's very difficult. The more we talk about it, the president wanted to get this slammed through uh, before the August recess. And uh, the, the fact that he didn't puts him in a tremendous disadvantage because the more the people understand, the more they're not going to like this. But let me just add quickly that he did bring up, finally, malpractice and putting some caps on those lawsuits. Isn't that a step in the right direction? It, yeah. That, you know, if you, if you read his speech carefully, he just suggested studies. Uh, I would be shocked beyond words if he actually followed through with any real tort reform. And ironically, uh, if we had medical liability reform in any sort of meaningful way that would save us about a hundred billion dollars a year and that would pay for a good insurance policy for all of the eleven million people that are without insurance and cannot afford it and that's an astonishing reality to me and i hope that you check out what i just said and see if it's true congressman trent franks we will do that thank you congressman good to see you here thank you. all right and here's thank a look at